we have good news and bad news. Um, the unfortunate news is Foreign Minister Munoz's flight was um, delayed, so he's not here right now. The good news is we have um, the ambassador from Chile, um, Juan Gabriel Valdez, who is going to join us. Um, and what makes me very excited about this, I mean, I'm disappointed, obviously, or that Foreign Minister Munoz could, got, got delayed, but um, is that I had the great opportunity to um, meet Ambassador Valdez uh, when we were planning for our ocean conference. Um, you may all recall that Chile hosted it in 2015 and has been, was very active in the U.S. involvement in 2014, 2015, 2016. Um, you know, President Bachelet has really made ocean issues a legacy issue for her as uh, she has designated uh, the foreign minister to do so with a whole number of MPAs, which I'm sure the ambassador will highlight, and strong fisheries laws. Um, so Ambassador Valdez, um, you know, he became the ambassador here in the U.S. in 2014. Um, he actually previously served as the foreign minister and had also was a firm rep to the United Nations. So he has a long, distinguished career in the United States as well as in foreign policy. And I'm not going to go on because I think we want to hear from you. Before we do that, I also want to just note that we also have the ambassador from Costa Rica Costa Rica here, Ambassador Makaya, who um, is going to be with us throughout the day as well. And then he's coming back tomorrow to give um, some welcoming remarks. So welcome, Ambassador, and welcome, Ambassador uh, Valdez. Well, thank you very much, first of all. And uh, it is a great pleasure to be here at the seminar. Let me say that um, it is also an honor to speak on behalf of Minister Munoz, who has been um, enormously committed to this uh, subject and to this uh, effort, international effort, during the recent years. And um, he was uh, prevented from flying, not because of a delay, but because of something that is happening very frequently, uh, and it's very sad, cancellation of flights without reason. Then, the point is that he would have loved to be here. We hope that he, he will be here in a couple of hours, and maybe he can be here at some point tomorrow, which I understand is the moment in which this uh, finishes. The protection, conservation, and sustainable use of the ocean and its resources have been at the center of our agenda in Chile the last four years. To this end, we have made substantial efforts and commitments at the national, regional, and international level, thus becoming a global leader in the field of ocean governance and marine conservation. The, our ocean conference first held in Washington in 2014 then in Valparaíso in 2015 and in Washington in 2016, has become an important complement to the multilateral system. Our ocean has generated important voluntary commitments by participating countries, which have turned into action against the threats that currently affect our ocean, such as illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing, marine pollution, the ocean acidification, among others. This year, the fourth version of our Ocean Conference will be held in Malta, with the European Union as the host. Chile will once again participate, giving account of the progress made on our commitment and making new announcements. An area of special interest to Chile is unreported and unregulated fishing. Studies have established that EUU fishing is the third most profitable illegal international business. International losses for this illicit activity range from approximately US 10 to 33 billion. Strong policies that address this issue are the key to discouraging this illegal activity. Recognizing this reality, Chile adopted a policy in 2015 which addresses the access and use of ports, monitoring and control, trade and international actions. These allow national authorities responsible for fisheries to fully interact and coordinate. To implement this policy, we created a national committee to combat illegal fishing, which among other actions, 
aims to strengthen and mo our monitoring and enforcement role as a coastal state responsible for illegal fishing activities in the high seas ad adjacent to our exclusive economic zone. In addition, Chile is part to, the inter to all international instruments of the law of the sea, including the United Nations Fish Stocks Agreements, which provides increasing powers for inspections in the adjacent seas, high seas. Joining this implementation agreement of UNCLOS, like other commitments related to this matter, we're assuming by our countries in the context of our ocean. We are part of the South Pacific Regional Fisheries Management Organization, aimed at the conservation and long-term sustainability of fisheries resources regulated by the organization, thereby safeguarding the marine ecosystems. Chile has been a long time proponing, proponent of strengthening the institutional structure of this organization, and through this, discouraging and preventing illegal fisheries, fishing activities in this context. Regarding this point, Chile has increased from 3 to 10 the oceanic fisheries control operations carried out by the Navy. At the center of our actions are our oceanic islands, precisely with the aim of controlling illegal activities taking place in our oceans. In addition, Chile is the Vice President of the 2009 Port State Measures Agreements, whose purpose is precisely to prevent, deter, and eliminate illegal fishing through the implementation of measures by the Port State. The actions just mentioned demonstrate Chile's willingness to put an end to illegal fishing, but they are not the only initiative to promote ocean conservation undertaken by our country. I'm referring to the creation of marine protected areas. Chile has made a strong commitment in this respect, and in 2018, our country will have 46% of its exclusive economic zone protected, one of the largest conservation areas in the world. MPAs, marine protected areas, can increase the resilience of marine ecosystem to the changes produced by global phenomena such as climate change. Yet their creation poses a great challenge. Cooperation between states can play a key role in achieving this objective. The creation of marine protect protection areas should be approached from a general perspective. The effective management of these marine protected areas requires states to implement maintain, conserve, and control them in an efficient and effective matter, manner. To meet this challenge, we should take advantage of new tools such as satellite applications. Having compatible technologies to protect these protected areas can lead to an effective control of these areas, safeguarding them and controlling activities that today con constitute a threat to the ocean. Chile is developing state-of-the-art satellite technology to be used as a tool for effective monitoring of both marine protected areas and the detection of illegal activities such as illegal fishing taking place in our jurisdictional waters. The pilot tests have been carried out in the Nazca Marine Park and on Easter Island with very good results. Today, Chile is a world leader in ocean governance and marine conservation. We believe and are convinced that we are working for the future of our country and its inhabitants, but we are also working for the future of the whole world. Protecting the oceans is protecting the future. Thank you very much.